Right everyone, Weapon Collector here. Right, I wanted to do a comparison between the old style pullback pistol crossbows and the newer style one. So this is the Tron. I often talk about crossbows and describe old style crossbows and new style crossbows, but if you're unaware of what the difference is, you know, you're not actually going to know. So in this video I'd like to show you the main differences with this one and this one. So this crossbow, full aluminium body, you can still buy these, they're claimed to be 80 pound draw weight, which I'll show you a test for that as well. Very inexpensive and you can get them absolutely anywhere. And have a very basic trigger mechanism and safety mechanism. This one is the Armex Tron, you can also get it in a model called the Scorpion. These are quite difficult to get now, which is a shame because it's a very good crossbow for what it is. And this is basically a modern version of this one. So it's still got the same features, it still has a stirrup, still has the pullback handle and everything like that. It's just, it's massively upgraded. And again, this one is rated at £80. So what I'll do now, I'm going to put these on a tabletop and show you close up some of the main differences and then afterwards we'll do a draw weight test to show you what they really are and a little bit of penetration test. Right we'll quickly go over some of the measurements just to show you some of the main differences. So the limbs on the old style one are around about 17 inches wide. The ones on the Tron are 17 inches wide as well. The power stroke on the old style ones are a lot shorter so going from here which is where the string would go to to here just over just over four and a half inches so from here to the clasp there just under just under six inches so you're getting one and a half inches more power stroke with the newer ones which will add more power and more speed. One of the other main differences with the crossbows are the actual trigger mechanisms. On the old style ones, the string is literally just sitting in a groove and you have a single piece trigger which just pushes up the string. So if you look there, you'll see when you pull the trigger, it just pushes the string out. So it's a very basic mechanism, but it does mean that the poundage to actually pull the trigger is a lot more because you're having to physically force the string up and out and what this also does it leads to more wear on the string the string will wear out quicker and it does take more to pull the trigger but there is less to go wrong and that is what all of what I call the old style crossbows have they have sometimes they have a sort of automatic safety but this has a this one and the other one I've got, you have to manually put the safety on, and that is the only safety. You didn't have no anti-dry fire, no other safety mechanisms. That is literally it. And that just blocks the string coming up. So on the Tron and what I call the more modern style pistol crossbows, you have a completely different style trigger and lock mechanism. And this is very, very similar to what you'd get on a full-size crossbow. So it's like a pair of forked fingers that stick up that the bolt can go in between so it's actually touching the string the bolt is actually touching the string whereas on that the other one they're not you have multiple safeties you can't quite see it on here but there's an anti dry fire system in there that once this is cocked a little arm drops down and then you cannot fire it until you put a bolt in because if you did fire this the string would just hit the anti-dry fire and then just sit there protecting your fingers. And this one has a automatic safety at the back as well. So when you cock this, this safety pulls back, lets the anti-dry fire drop down and you can't shoot it until you've put a bolt in and pushed the safety forward. So that is the main differences sort of mechanically with the old style and the new style. The old style is literally the string is in a groove and it has a manual safety. These ones have automatic safety, multiple safety options, and also, due to the way the trigger is set up, 
the trigger pull is a lot lighter. A couple of other differences you'll see with the old style crossbows is most of them don't have a weaver rail but some do. They're mainly aluminium bodied but I think the new ABS stuff that they use or whatever the plastic they use on the new ones I think this is probably just as good as this stuff anyway. It's probably just as good as aluminium anyway. You've got a free moving foot stirrup whereas the newer ones it's fixed. And this one has basic sights, which aren't bad. I've seen these cheap crossbows with a lot worse sight systems than this, where the, the front sight and the back sight were completely plastic, and it was really flimsy breakable, unlike the plastic on the newer ones. Um, and they also have a... A lot of the old ones will have a 12mm rail, but some do have a weaver rail there and underneath. But the main thing is, is that trigger mechanism is why I call them the old star ones. So quickly going back to the Tron, so you've got a multi-positional foot stirrup that locks in either position. You've got a weaver rail at the bottom to put accessories on and a weaver rail at the top to put the sight on. And the sights are plastic on these but they're very good quality and you also get a fibre optic little bit at the front of your sight there. But yeah, this is very good quality uh, plastic. And then the only other difference is the cocking arms, but I don't really think these make much difference anyway. So the cocking arm on this one is just a fixed piece of metal that runs on a rail and in these bits here. One thing it does do though, it's constantly pulling the string against the rail because these are curved back slightly. So they're pulling it back to get it down, so they're pulling it down and back in. So that probably puts more wear on the string as well. Whereas the new ones, the actual arms run in a rail and they're not really pulling downwards on the string because they just need to pull the string horizontally until it goes behind the mechanism. So it's probably a little bit less stress on the string that way. As mentioned, the thing that I would really say is the difference between the old style and the new style is the trigger mechanism. The old style, it's a lot harder to pull, there's a lot more friction and wear happening on the string. Whereas the newer ones, completely new mechanism, lots of safety features and a lot less stress on the trigger and the string. Right, so I'll show you the draw weight for this now. So this is a luggage scale. I will pull the string back using the luggage scale. And if this is 80 pound draw weight, this should top it right over because this only goes to 75 pounds anyway. So as you can see where that black line is, it has only gone up to about 50 pounds and this is supposed to be an 80 pound limb as well so it's not that I've got a 50 pound limb because I can show you a demonstration with another crossbow that they never go to what they say anyway right so now we'll do the same with the Tron again this is marketed as 80 pound if it's 80 pound it should go right up to the limit with this um, yeah but from experience a lot of crossbows are not what they claim to be But you can see this has gone round to around about the 70 mark. So it's nearly what it's supposed to be, but not quite. So there you go, now you know the difference when I describe an old style pistol crossbow and a modern style pistol crossbow. Because, you know, I say that, the full size crossbows have had a similar 
trigger and latch mechanism to that for you know years and years and years you know since they've been making the full size ones um, but it's only recently that pistols have started having a much better mechanism like that so yeah there it is I would like to do a test between the the Horizon Redback and a self cocking crossbow but I don't have one at the minute but if, if you wanted to help fund that you can because they're only £22 and there's a thing called coffee.com which is a donation system where if you want to chuck a fiver in it would only it would only take four of you to chuck a fiver in and then I'll be able to buy a old style self cocking crossbow and then I could do a comparison between a red back and a new old style self cocking crossbow so yeah the options there at the end of this video there'll be a little video showing you how to do the donations if you want to the link is in the description it just says donations All right Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. I hope you found it helpful. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share. Definitely subscribe if you like crossbow stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully, I'll do a self cocking crossbow versus a red back eventually. Alright, thank you for watching. See you later.